The next topic I would like to discuss is related to Azure Network Water. And uh, for that, you suppose you have a company, you work for a company, and they want to use Network Water to f perform different tasks. For example, um, they want to find out if a network security rule is preventing a network packet from reaching a VM hosted in a VNet. And they would also like to know if there is outbound connectivity between a VM and an external host. And uh, what you, you'll also have to know is that Azure Network Watcher has different features and you can expect to see them in the exam day and actually to, uh, to answer to the question what feature you're going to need if you want to perform these two tasks or other tasks, of course. Um, and among the features that you can expect to see are IP flow verify, next hope, packet capture, traffic analysis, and connection monitor. What I suggest is um, that you have a look on each of these features because they can, they might ask questions based uh, on each of them. Uh, I chose these two um, requests, but if I uh, if I have something else in mind, I'm going to post. Um, I'm going to create a new video for that. So, for the first question, you're going to need IP flow verify, and this is actually quite easy to find out. If you go to in the, to this um, Microsoft documentation page, introduction to IP flow verify, then the answer is just here in the first sentence. So IP flow verify checks if a packet is allowed or denied denied to or from a virtual machine. This is exactly what um, uh, what's asked in here. For the second one. Um, if you want to find out if there is outbound connectivity between a VM and an external host, you're going to need connection monitor. And for that, we go to. Um, actually, I'll, uh, I'm going to put the link uh, in the um, video description. And under create a connection monitor, you can see that connection monitor monitors communication at regular intervals. This is, um, this is what, um, what's this is exactly actually what's uh, asked in here. And if we take actually all the other options one by one, uh, IP flow verify. This is incorrect. So for the second request, IP flow verify is incorrect because this feature is used to verify traffic flow based on security group rules uh, this is exactly what we've seen uh, what we've previously sorry previously seen next hope is also incorrect because uh, this is used to get the next hope type and ip address for a specific vm packet then uh, traffic analysis is also incorrect because this is a feature uh, because actually this feature is a cloud-based solution and it will provide you visibility into user and application activity in cloud networks. So it's not related to what we need right here. Another interesting question could be this one, where your client or the company you are working for uh, has deployed an application, in our case demo application, has deployed it across a set of virtual machines. I represented only three here, but uh, there can be um, many more, five, ten, doesn't really matter here. Uh, users can connect to this application using a point-to-site or a site-to-site -site VPN connections. And now you are requested to ensure that the connections to application are spread across all the virtual machines, three in our case. And you are given these uh, options. Either you choose uh, to add the public or an internal load balancer, a traffic manager profile, or an application gateway. 
Um, we already discussed about internal load balancer, but uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go one more time to the documentation because because this uh, question is likely to appear at least a couple of times for uh, a couple of times for the exam. So I think it's important to understand um, to understand it well. Oh, okay, this is from the previous question. Okay, so in our case. Um, the correct answers are internal load balancer and Azure application gateway. Why internal or private load balancer? Because um, in our case, we use private IP and we need to distribute traffic across the virtual machines. So uh, you, have a, uh, you have a private IP. And if we go to the documentation, um, Azure Load Balancer, we can see that for an internal or private load balancer, is used where private IPs are needed at the front end only. For Azure Application Gateway, this will help you. Actually, this is a web traffic load balancer that enables you to manage traffic to your web applications. So the documentation clearly says that. So in our case, public load balancer is not a valid answer here, nor traffic manager profile. 